Political Parties in Armenia. In order to get started, the first thing that we need to ask is, what is a political party? According to Scholastic.com, a political party is a group of voters organized to support certain public policies. The aim of a political party is to elect officials who will try to carry out the party's policies. The second question we have to ask is how a political party is established. The current situation in Armenia causes for a special case, since they are about to bring a new and revised constitution into play. So, in order for this video to be most helpful for future viewers, we are going to constantly reference the 2015 constitution rather than the 2005 constitution. According to Article 8 of the 2015 Armenian Constitution, ideological pluralism and multipartisanism shall be recognized in Armenia. Parties shall be formed and operated freely. The law shall guarantee equal legal opportunities for activities of parties. Parties shall promote the formulation and expression of people's political will, and the party's structure and activities have to be in accordance with the Constitution. As far as creating a party goes, in Article 45, it states that any citizen of Armenia can create a party and no one is forced to join or be a part of a party. Parties have to publish annual reports on the sources of their means and expenditures, as well as on their property. Parties are not allowed to advocate for overthrowing constitutional order. Cases like these are sent to the Constitutional Court. Although all citizens are technically free to join or create political parties, there are certain exceptions to this rule. Some people who are not allowed to be affiliated with a political party are the Human Rights Defender, the Chairman of the Central Bank, members of the Control Chamber, members of the Television and Radio Commission, judges, prosecutors, investigators, and certain people serving in armed forces, national security, and the police. Now that we understand the formation of political parties in Armenia today, let's talk about the history of these parties. Throughout history, Armenia has had more than 120 political parties. There are reportedly now about 70. The political parties can be grouped into three categories based on their chronological emergence. Historical parties, independence parties, and post-independence parties. Armenians began to strive to establish an independent Armenia most seriously in the late 19th century. Thus, in 1885, the first Armenian party was formed by students in the city of Van, under their leader Magardich Portukalian. This was known as the Armenian Party, and was the predecessor of the Liberal Democratic Party, known as the Ramgavar Azadagan Party of Armenia. The second party, founded in Geneva in 1887, was the Social Democratic Hunchak Party, and the last of the historical parties was founded in 1890 under the leadership of Kristapor Mikhailian, Simon Zavarian, and Stepan Zorian in Tbilisi, Georgia known as the Armenian Revolutionary Federation, or the Tashnag Party. Throughout the Soviet era, open political party activity was banned outside of the Armenian Communist Party, of course. So these historical parties stayed alive mainly throughout the diaspora, and they are still alive today. The next group of parties emerged in the late 1980s and lasted until independence from the Soviets in 1991. Let's call these the independence parties. The political nucleus of the Armenian independence movement was the Kharabakh Committee, which spawned a number of political parties. The Kharabakh Committee wanted to fight for Armenian control over the region of nagorno karabakh surrounded by present-day Azerbaijan. Over 90% of the population were Armenians. Eventually, the committee came to the conclusion that they could truly only press the idea of Armenian independence, and that is when the Armenian National Movement began. It was more of an umbrella organization, trying to include as many types of people as possible. But after the elections of the Supreme Council of Armenia, it became a political party, and eventually broke into several parts, known as the Union of Constitutional Rights, with Harant Khachadirian, established in 1989. 
The Republican Party of Armenia, with Ashot Navasardian, established in 1990. The Mission and Free Armenia Mission, established in 1990. The National Democratic Union and the Democratic Party of Armenia, established in 1991, and others. You may be asking, what about political parties today? These are known as the post-independence parties, or third-generation parties. Following the May 2012 national elections, six political parties entered the Armenian parliament. The ruling party, the Republican Party of Armenia, includes 44.1%, or 69 of the seats. It's a right-wing party with a nationalist conservative ideology. National conservatism is presented as a subtype of conservatism, mostly concentrated on national interests. The opposition. Prosperous Armenia has 37 seats in parliament and basically has 30.2% of the entire parliament. It is considered a center-right political party, which claims to offer realistic solutions to the problems faced by Armenian society. It is the main opposition party. There is also the Armenian National Congress. This party has seven seats, and it holds 7.1% of the parliament. The party has liberal democratic orientation. At present, ANC's main goals are the restoration of constitutional order, the setting up of checks and balances, the establishment of a sound electoral system, and the restoration of free market relations. Then there's the Armenian Revolutionary Federation, or the ARF. They hold 5.7%, or six of the seats. This socialist party is among Armenia's oldest political factions. ARF's program is based on social justice, democracy, and national self-determination for the Armenian people. Then there is the Rule of Law Party. They hold six seats. It is mostly conservative and pro-European. Lastly, there is the Heritage Party, which also holds five seats. The party is an advocate of liberal economic and democratic governance, but distanced itself from the ANC and other opposition parties. The organizational structure of most of these parties is a pyramid structure. Most developed political parties with a sizable number of members have a pyramid structure, with power concentrated at the top and decisions handed down to the lower party levels. The party chairperson is usually the single most important figure, particularly as Armenia's political parties have become more personality-centric. On paper, most parties are managed by a board, which varies in size from five to several dozen members. A party congress consisting of delegates chosen at local levels meets regularly, usually once every two years, to discuss the party program and select its leadership. What about challenges today? Although the Armenian political party system has undergone many improvements since it began, there are many challenges and issues that political parties face on an everyday basis and throughout implementation of long-term strategies. A challenge worth highlighting is the issue surrounding funding for the parties. Currently, the party's finances are dependent on the number of the members they have. And although some parties might receive donations from businesses and other investors, all of them are not granted this opportunity. The issue of lack of funding prevents some political parties from pursuing even the most regularly coordinated activities and projects they tend to implement. There is not a singular overarching financial system that all parties can turn to for funding. Therefore, those political parties in which the wealthy are members may also have significant leverage over those in favor of political parties representing the lower class. Another challenge that exists in our political party system is that most of the political parties do not have comprehensive and clear ideologies from which their strategies are derived. Even though some would argue that every party has a clearly defined ideology, those ideologies are only listed on paper rather than actually represented in action. It is important to differentiate between ideologies and long-term strategies because one is the consequence of another. For example, the ruling party of Armenia, the Republican Party, has supposedly adopted the ide ideologies of Karekin Nujde. However, although they claim to have, be, have been inspired by Karekin Nujde's ideas, his ideologies are not actually reflected in practice of the party's strategic goals or their political views. 
Looking back across the years, the Armenian region has been through a lot, having had over 120 political parties. But as young citizens of the Republic of Armenia, we hope that we can strengthen the importance of an ideology and establish more firmly a lasting and effective political party system in our country. The following are the sources that we used for our work. Thank you.